clutch two, 2020, late in March, pipped, 6-3. We lost one egg during the incubation process. As you can see, these guys are ready to go. This is the second clutch of 2021. It is from Kara and a orange golden eye that we produced a handful of years ago. This is what we like to call the orange crush golden eyes. It's basically a line bred trait that we are working on to enhance the orange coloration in our golden eyes. Just a fun little project with some nice colored animals. So this is box one. We had 19 eggs in the incubator and we lost one egg so we are down to 18 now. Uh, they all but one pipped naturally. So I did have one egg here uh, that had gone a few days past and didn't pip like you normally would and I'm still not sure exactly what's going on with that one. But we're going to get started on opening these guys up. Again, everybody but one pipped naturally a couple days ago and they've started to come out of their eggs and the eggs are starting to smell, which is usually a really good indication that it's time for us to, to get them moving. If I hadn't mentioned it before, hatchling blood pythons are a little nippy. They start out that way. They definitely don't always stay that way. This time, instead of spraying them, we're going to try putting them in a tub of water to see if it makes it any better. But you'll see their initial response is literally exactly the same. They meet everything with open mouths. So again, on this clutch, you have the golden eye gene, single copy. So roughly half of the babies will be actual visual golden eyes. And then we're bringing it to a very orange female. Breeding it to a very orange female so that we can infuse the orange coloration into the babies. Nice little baby there. Everybody's bellies are looking good at this point. So as you've probably seen in a lot of cutting videos that when you go through and you start cutting with the scissors, there's all sorts of blood and things like that. What we're doing is allowing them to naturally pip on their own and sit in the eggs for a few days. There's, you don't see any blood vessels. You don't see any big nasty yolk sacs or any of that stuff. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but they are definitely uh, a nippy group, this one here. I think it's a good sign that they're just ready to come out as well when they have that much enthusiasm. Look at that. Look at that pattern. So, the mother of this clutch is, again, Kara, as I mentioned before. 
and she is a 17 year old female that has been with us since, I don't know, I don't know, roughly 2008, 2009, something along those lines. Very, very orange female. She's unique compared to all of the other blood pythons we have in our collection with her orange coloration. Um, she has been a fantastic producer for us over the years, and every clutch that she's ever produced has had amazing orange coloration and pattern. So we wanted to try to capitalize a bit on that and see if we couldn't add that into the gold mine line. If you've noticed in this box, we seem to be pretty heavy on normals. We haven't pulled any golden eyes out of there yet. Oh boy, that thing's ready to go. Um, it just luck would have it. They seem to be pretty evenly split between the boxes. So I've got a clutch of, or a box of normals mostly, and a box of golden eyes. Great pattern, great orange coloration. You can already see just the fantastic orange on the head of that normal. So we did notice on this 2021 clutch that Kara had a lot more babies than she did, or a lot more eggs than she did in 2019. And the eggs were significantly smaller. And it makes sense. She is a big older female though, so in 2019, when she only had eight eggs, we thought that that was very strange. And then in this year, in the same exact same pairing, she produced 19 eggs, and they're just so much smaller. So in turn, the babies are quite a bit smaller. Oh man, that is awesome. Look at that head. See the blushing behind the neck? So the eggs are smaller, the babies are smaller. But so far, everything looks really good. It is definitely meeting our expectations for orange. And then we are also being rewarded with some really nice patterns. So here's another really good orange striped animal. Trying to figure out a place that I can put it in here where it isn't going to get attacked. All right, I've kind of been holding back on you just a little bit. So there's the egg uh, that I had to manually open. Um, I'm going to save that one for last. And then there's one less, last little guy in this box. That is a gold mine. We'll go ahead and open that one now. He's in the spot. I'm gonna... That's super weird. Yep, I deserve that though. So these guys are just trying to protect themselves. They've been sitting in a nice, quiet room, really good temperatures, and just chilling, minding their own business, trying to get used to their new world. And then I come in here and I start manhandling them and trying to 
pull them out of their eggs and the temperature is different. So there's really, it's really no wonder why I'm getting lit up. All right, so here's our first gold eye in here. It's really kind of cool because there's this light. I just don't even know what to say about the coloration on this guy here. It's just a very light, even keeled. So as these mature, they absolutely do gain more orange. We have a couple holdback 2019s that we will share with you. Um, and you can just get a pretty good feel for uh, what the Orange Crush line is all about. Nice belly. It's flattening out right now. It makes it look a little bit bigger, but all the bellies are closed. It's a great sign. All right, guys. Box two of the Orange Crush Clutch 2021. Uh, it might be immediately obvious that this one is dominated by gold knives, and these are Orange Crush. As you can see, they have very consistent orange background, and it's more than just the little striping on the dorsal. Uh, this is an overall orange hue that will absolutely intensify as uh, they get bigger. Um, maybe it was evident in the first part of the video. Um, this clutch is absolutely fired up. Uh, I have probably gotten bitten 15 times already. So super exciting. Uh, we do like to see a little bit of fire in our hatchlings. Uh, we believe that when they have that attitude like that, that they are going to be better feeders. So let me dive into the pit. So as we talked about several times before, great bellies. Uh, the umbilicus port where they have a, a belly button is actually closed up and looks really nice. That's just a great looking golden eye. We actually took the water out of the container. Uh, they were just out of control and we'll spray them off off camera. And I think it'll be better for everyone. So again, great coloration, beautiful faces. Their uh, head stamps are quite a bit reduced compared to the last clutch that we did where we had noticed that they had just outstanding head stamps. That was clutch one of 2021 that I'm referring to. If you didn't see that, there is a video on our page. Go back and take a look at it. All right, that was it for the easy ones. Now let's open some stuff up. I know you. Good, good, good. I know you. Okay, we're going to do the reverse on this one. And we are going to enjoy some gold knot content. And then we'll save those other guys for last. This one looks like it's got some cool striping. Nice big baby. It is just packed in there. Come on, buddy. You want to come out? I know you don't, but I need you to come out. Your egg stinks. It's time. Come on. There we go. Nice. Pattern, all reduced. A lot of our GoldenEye stock uh, tends to throw reduced pattern GoldenEyes, and uh, that is just the nature of 
the stock that we work with. Oh, there we go. We'll fire it up. This one had a little bit of a nasty material in there, but that's actually the the belly button. This is what attaches, or this is the umbilicus. This is what attaches to the stomach of the snake and provides it with its nutrients. And as you can tell, it's gross. See that tongue? That's a pretty good indication that I'm about to get bit. It's a good looking snake. enjoying the orange head on this one. They all have orange heads. It varies from snake to snake, but this one just really stands out to me. I think I've been eyeballing this guy since it first picked. struggling a little bit with these little scissors. I think it's time to, to get a new pair. If you guys have any suggestions for a small pair, small set of fairly safe but effective scissors that I can use for eggs, please put it in the comments. I really like to hear what you have to say, see what works for you and what doesn't. This one is going to be a smoker. Actually, if I had to call it right now, I would say that that would be one that would be hanging back here. But we try not to jinx ourselves like that. Anytime we call something a keeper fresh out of the egg, then it doesn't want to eat or it just ends up being a, a whole thing. So we try not to Try not to call any keepers too soon. Get everybody established. Let them start to develop a little bit color-wise and personality-wise. And then we go from there. This guy's a little twisted up. He's going to come out like a firecracker. Look at that. Sorry, buddy. I got scared. I got scared. So he's a little twisted up. I need to open him up some more here. So we have a, a friend of ours that has one of these orange crushes from 2019. And apparently it still has all of this hatchling personality left in it. So he's probably getting a kick out of this video. All of their bellies are great. Everybody looks fantastic. They're perfect, super consistent in their size and their condition, their attitude.
really excited about that. And then down to the last three eggs. I held these back purposely from box two uh, because I know that they are normals. And we got a bunch of normals in that first box. So I wanted you to be able to enjoy some orange and look at the orange. Wanted you guys to be able to enjoy some golden eye content because that's really what this clutch is about is the golden eyes. So this one's very orange. Same consistent striping as all of the other normals from that other clutch. This guy does have a little bit. You can't really see it there, but I could feel it. Just a little bit of an umbilicus or bump there, but its stomach is closed and that's really what you need. Look at that, how that stands out in that box. If you're cringing because of these small jagged cuts, don't. What we do is we're pulling up on the shell of the egg, which is separating it from the snake so that we don't uh, poke or jab it. And then the small delicate cuts just allow me to make adjustments as needed. Great orange. Killer striping. It's amazing. So there was one more egg. That was the egg that I had to manually open. Um, I waited roughly 36 hours from the first pip before I opened that. Um, I mentioned before, we do not like to interfere in that process. Um, I was going to open it on camera, but during a brief break, I checked on it and the uh, Orange Crush Golden Eye that's in there is deformed and uh, has died. Um, it did not have a fully formed face, therefore it was never able to uh, generate a proper egg tooth and um, could not get out of the egg. Um, unfortunately, regardless of whether it would have made it out of the egg or not, it would not have survived due to its deformities. So if you've made it to the end of the video, I am going to share with you a couple of our holdback examples of the Orange Crush from 2019. These are our keepers, and they are two of the first four that we ever did. So two of them are out in personal collections, and two of them are here. So lucky me, I don't have nearly the personality of the 2021 babies. They look great, don't they? I love the, that striping, that consistent striping that they have. Here is some examples of the first generation. Actually, I take that back. Technically, there's it's, these are second generation. These are F2 Orange Crush animals. Uh, as you can see, they absolutely develop more color as they mature. 
This is at two years of age and they will continue to develop this coloration into uh, adulthood. Um, golden eyes, or actually all blood pythons, will change color their entire life. And as they mature, they get better. Um, and in our experience, in working with hundreds of python brongersmai, we've never seen one get uglier. Great tones, pink, orange. There's some silver in the head there. Your white and tans. Beautiful snakes. Very happy with how these are turning out. This one has a little bit more of a aberrant pattern, a little bit more broken up. But the straight, same color gradation, the pinks, the oranges, the grays in the head. And just a wicked pattern. I love that. Man. This guy is uh, going to be ready to relieve himself. Thanks for joining us for Clutch 2. If you have any questions, we'd be happy to answer them. Just leave them in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next video.